Hey y'all, it's Taker's Keep, coming back at you today with another figure review. Today, we have Elf Archer from Dragon's Crown, another color edition. Now, I found out about this figure through my late night Ami Ami browsing, and I found her at a fantastic price, around $80, $90 US, and I mean, I instantly thought it was too good to be true. This figure looked amazing in the pictures, so I kind of wanted to confirm that Mega House wasn't just pulling my leg with their 50-50 um, figure quality. So I looked around on YouTube, I didn't find many reviews on her, but there was a YouTuber called Bardic Broadcasts and he did a fantastic job doing the review on the original color of Elf Archer. And he went into such great detail down to how the sculpt is very, um, is very lore accurate to fey creatures, to elves in general. And the fact that her bow that she's wielding is more of a proper sized bow and not kind of these really impractical bows that they kind of put in these anime figures. He, he did a very good job on his review. I can only hope I do, you know, half as good of a job as he did. So if you want to see a great review on her other version, go visit Bardic Bar Broadcasts. You're not going to regret that decision. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. Now, the biggest difference between Elf Archer's original color and her another color really is the bow that she wields. This bow looks like it's created out of a tree branch instead of the traditional soldier bow, um, the wooden soldier bow that the original color elf wields in her figure. And I really do like this detail. It kind of makes her look more of a creature of the forest, like the fey creatures that um, Bardic Broadcast describes, that she lives amongst the forest creatures and crafts her weapons from the natural resources that she can find in the forest. And accompanied by a little chipmunk animal friend, it really does speak to how natural this figure looks. And speaking of the natural themes of this figure, the colors in this figure really scream autumn or fall with the oranges, the browns, the reds, the yellows that are found in this figure. It really just looks like when the leaves on the trees are starting to change color and falling down to the ground, she really embodies that fall spirit in this figure, which just goes a long way to theming, to theming Elf. And she may not be the traditional green that elves are usually associated with, but these this color palette still works for her. It still makes her look like a forest fey creature. And on top of that, I really do like her hood being mostly red kind of reminds me of Red Riding Hood. Her, her frame and her um, youthful appearance just kind of screams, this is a elf Red Riding Hood. Um, and she's the one hunting the wolf instead of the wolf hunting her. It's definitely a great juxtaposition, but they did cheap out on some stuff. This is, at this point, this is kind of what I expect from Mega House. <laughs> the base is not that high quality. The base itself is hollowed plastic. So, and it's hollowed to the point where the edges kind of curve up. So the base is kind of concaving from the weight of Elf Archer. So she really, really, really needs this support pole because I am not confident that she will be able to hold herself up with the failed integrity of the base. 
uh, not really great to see on such a, you know, an expensive figure. Um, and on top of that, the base kind of has this, what almost looks like an ice pick coming out from like a, like an icicle coming out from the bottom of the base. And that's what she's jumping off of. That's where she's wall jumping off of. And it's a little jarring because it's a completely different color from the rest of the base. Um, I do wish it was something more like a dust cloud or they did a little bit more effort on sculpting it so it didn't look so jarring. But it's not a deal breaker, uh, just kind of a missed opportunity. This figure for the price that I paid is fantastic. It is it is a great figure to add to your collection and compared to the other dragon dragon crown girlies like uh amazon and witch she is at a much much cheaper price point <laughs> amazon and witch i'm sure it's because of their assets that they are just really hard to find on the aftermarket and if you can find them on the aftermarket they are way overpriced so I don't know when I'll be getting them, but not anytime soon right now. Maybe they'll make, they'll do a re-release, who knows? Mega House has been doing a lot of re-releases recently, so we'll have to see if I'll ever get the other Dragon Crowned characters. And with that, thank you very much for joining me on this figure review. It's been a pleasure sharing this figure, and hopefully this helps you with your figure buying decisions. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you liked what you saw, and I'll see you on the next video. See ya!